look at what I got. This isn't even the most exciting thing because the day after I bought this trailer, I received an email from a company offering me a product that would just be the perfect love match for this little trailer. It's hopefully going to help me get some more materials to the house. It's kind of a big package. This is my current DIY project. This is the tiny guest house on my little plot of land. I just finished renovating the kitchen and the big room in my main house little house <laughs> very small old cabin type house and the next room I'm going to renovate is the one I live in so I decided to quickly do up this tiny guest house and kind of paint the walls but then I found myself ripping out the ceiling I thought it would be so cute to match the the ceiling on the inside to the pitched roof on the outside and this is why I'm finding myself in sudden need for some additional building materials. Now I'm going to need some insulation and some timber. I'm going to need, well, quite a bit. A bit more than my trailer can take. But that's okay because we, we like adventures. Oh wow. Okay. This is my new e-bike. Can I just start by saying thank you so much to Ella Glide for sending me this bike. I don't even know how that happened and how the timing was so absolutely perfect. Me and this bike and my trailer are hopefully going to go on a little adventure to pick up some building materials. It's amazing! I just need to fit this bike together. Um, I don't know how, but we're, we're going to figure it out. The one big question is though, is this going to fit on the new bike? I did not buy this trailer for the new bike. I'm going to figure this out first. Pedals. Useful. Mystery. Something. Lights. That looks like a tool. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Quick test before I finish the bike because I'm freaking out a little bit. Is this going to fit? Saddle will be higher. Yes. Phew! Oh my goodness, just imagine. Just imagine if I had a trailer that didn't fit this bike. You know what? Today is the day I am going to attempt my mad adventure. And it's very cold. It is, I think it's like minus 10. And yeah, today is my one day window that I can actually go on this trip for like the next few weeks probably so this is what's happening i'm picking up building materials and i am taking my bike and my trailer honestly this whole idea is a little bit precarious and i haven't properly tried out the bike or the trailer yet the trailer feels as though it's gonna collapse at any point <laughs> and I'm terrified so let's call this an attempt to pick up building materials the store is 35 kilometers from here Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is what's happening. The roads around my house are partially covered in a layer of ice and snow and partially clear so I am walking. <laughs> Look at that! So far everything is going okay which I am very excited about and it's turning out to be a really beautiful day. Tomorrow it's going to snow loads again so I just have today. I did leave a little bit late. Hopefully I'll be fine. Um, full disclosure, I brought all of my camping gear <laughs> just in case. Plus I have all the tools that I used to put the bike and the trailer together. So if anything goes wrong, I guess I can I don't know, fix it or sleep in the woods, which wouldn't be good because it's going to be minus 10 tomorrow night. So, but yeah. We made it to a road. It's going good so far. shop and I can't find my timber just yet. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, I found it. These are the ones. I need about six and a half packs just for the pitch, not counting the end pieces, but I have no idea how many I can actually comfortable bring on my bike. So I'm going to take these two. I'm going to cut them in tiny pieces. So yeah, it's not ideal <laughs> because you're going to see it in the ceiling, but I'm going to cut them to the size of where the, um, the framing is and then see how it goes fitting it in. Okay, the question being, can I add more or should I not risk it for today? <laughs> On my way home, So I left town and it was already three, so everything took so long. I also went to a few other shops, which I shouldn't have done. I wanted to get some tea. I had to go to a supermarket. You, I can't get it where I live. And I love this tea. <laughs> and it's always sold out and it was sold out again. So I went to the shop for nothing. And I went to a few other shops, but I probably shouldn't have done it because it took about an hour to cut all of the woods. I have to say that this is the most exciting adventure ever. You know what? I I didn't sleep that much last night because I was so nervous about everything breaking down. 
<laughs> and it being crazy cold and getting stuck and <sighs> but it's been so much fun to just see things I haven't seen before I've, I've never cycled here before so just taking all of these different roads has been has been really nice but it's it's a long way and I don't take the direct way because that's quite a busy road so I've been taking back streets yeah I'm gonna keep on going again and <laughs> get myself home luckily I've got my bicycle lights with me so and obviously the, the bicycle has lights as well um, I'm currently covering the front lights with my basket so it's not good but I've got separate ones so There was a storm yesterday and it's just beautiful today and the snow is really bright in the sun which I haven't really experienced yet here
So I don't usually wear sunglasses, but I do for this. When I cut these at the shop, I made sure to number them, which I'm really happy I did. So basically I cut them so they could fit in my trailer and still balance. They stuck out just a little bit and it worked really well. And the length I cut them to is the length of the beams that they will be attached to. I figured now I can just make sure that I fit the right ones next to each other. And then the fit will be, you know, as perfect as, and that will be quite good. So just putting them all on here. This table is really useful already. <laughs> it's really nice to have a platform to put something on. Floor, however, is very slippery. So I managed to pick up two packs and they are 10 times 2.4 meters in length and from what I measured I think I need about seven packs so I've got two that means that in theory I would need to go to the shop another four times <laughs> plus I need to pick up insulation which is a huge pack which is like four times the size of my cart but it's um i think i can just tie it to it i'm hoping i can pick up everything else in three more goes which i know sounds ridiculous but honestly i i quite like the adventure <laughs> i mean i mentioned this before but delivery is really expensive and um right now i'm not ready to do a bulk delivery for other things i don't know yet what i'm going to need Plus, they actually close the road for heavy traffic. Between winter and spring, because this is a dirt road, it gets really soft. I don't really have a choice, but I love that I'm able to do it. Like, sure, it's not efficient, but I can still do it. Okay, so these are the offcuts, these are the ends. This is everything. I should be able to cover about a quarter of the ceiling with this, if I measured correctly. I guess I need to um, get started now. Oh gosh. Okay, this is absolutely not going to be straightforward at all because there are so many bits sticking out that I need to cut around. Oh my and gosh. okay. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to talk to you about my little bike now. This is my little bike from Ella Glide. This little one is called the T1 Step 3. Now Ella Glide has about five different types of bikes and some of them have a few different varieties so a few more than that. They have a mountain bike, um, a fat tire bike, a city bike. Honestly I was so excited to receive this little bicycle and after the first trip I'm going to be using it so much more. Obviously the trailer isn't part of this bike but it's really difficult to take it off. It shouldn't be but it is. <laughs> okay this is an e-bike. When I was cycling to the hardware store it was about 75 kilometers. I was being really careful because I am not actually used to cycling e-bikes. When you get that jolt that like moves you forward it's like something I really have to get used to. It's really strange to press a button and for the bike to just move forward without it being directly linked to me physically doing something. This bike is pretty powerful. It has five different assist modes. I mainly used one or two so and it goes up to five. I was cycling pretty slow because I had the trailer. I was really scared of it breaking I think I was going at maybe like 15 kilometers per hour at most. If you're on assist mode 5 it can go up to 25 kilometers per hour. It even has a throttle which to me is crazy. A throttle means that you just press the button and you don't even have to pedal and it just moves forward like a motorcycle. I think this bike sits within like the budget e-bikes which is quite nice because e-bikes get really expensive so having a choice of one that is actually affordable is really nice. Something I also used was the walking assist mode. So you press a button and it helps you walk at like six kilometers per hour. So obviously the first five kilometers I was walking quite a bit because of the snow and it really helps to push the bike forward without really exhausting yourself. Honestly, I was quite amazed that I was cycling something like 38 kilometers to get to the hardware store and I wasn't exhausted. And does really help make these kind of trips for me possible. Otherwise, it would really be quite a trek to cycle all day, come home exhausted and then have to do it again. <laughs> So this bike comes with seven gears and it has a front suspension system which I should probably turn on on the dirt right here. So the battery can actually last up until 100 kilometers. So that is on assist mode one, on during good temperatures, no wind, flat terrain. But I was cycling in freezing temperatures which completely screws up batteries and I had a trailer with lots of goods and when I got back I still had battery left so that's 75 kilometers of using the assist mode in like bad weather conditions and a heavy load so that I was really happy with that it means I could definitely use it for slightly more strenuous trips so you're going to see this one more often let me take you back. Push assist. So if you're thinking about purchasing an e-bike, have a look at Elaglite. They have some cool bikes to choose from and I will leave the relevant links in the description box below. It is snowing again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. I want to have a snow day. It's gorgeous.
It's really cold in here to work. I think I'm going to um, start cutting things in here. Get my little saw. My feet are starting to get too cold, which isn't good. There's a lot of sealing to be done. <laughs> Almost every bit of timber needs to be custom cut to fit around the framing. Look at this! This is a good start. I have a little bit more timber left over. Just imagine what this is going to look like when it is finished. Thank you. 